the next thing I'm going to show you is how to set any Google font that you want to build your page with. So I highly recommend using Google fonts. They just look a lot better than just the default fonts that you can use. So what you do is you start by typing in the text that you want. Just type in some text and then highlight over that text and click this T icon here. Now you can scroll through here and choose any of these fonts, but you're not limited to these fonts. There are some fonts that are not in here that are Google fonts that you can choose from the Google font website. So I always like to start by just choosing one. It doesn't really matter what it is. So I'll just go with this permanent marker as an example. And then what you need to do is click on this HTML icon. And now you're going to see where it says font family here. It will give you the name of the font. So you're going to want to do one of two things. Either you can go to the Google fonts website and get the style sheet for that font. And you can let me zoom this out, put the style sheet in this section where it says content between head tags, or you can go to your funnel layout settings and you can put the name of the font right there. So the font is name is permanent marker. You see right here, it says permanent marker, the one that I chose. So if I wanted to load it by putting it in my uh, funnel layout settings, Google font preloader, I can do that. You have up to 10 different Google fonts you can load from this preloader. Update funnel layout. Or let me close this layout settings here. The other option would be to go to the Google Fonts website. So I'll just go to fonts.google.com. And I'll find the font I want. So in this case, it would be the permanent marker. And I'll click on this plus icon. And right here, you'll see the font family selected. Open this box here. And I'm going to copy where it says link ref right there. You the control C to copy that. And then I can go here and just put this style sheet right there. And that will also load my Google font. So I don't have to use my Google font preloader on the funnel layout settings page. Okay, so now the next thing I'll probably want to set a size for the font. So I'll just highlight that text. I've got a couple options. I can either use these quick size selectors here, or I can click on the T icon again. And I could go to size right here and choose one of these sizes. And then I'll just save that. Now when, when I preview the page, you'll see that I've got my text the size that I set. Now if I wanted to change the color of the font, what I can do is go here, highlight this, and click on this foreground color option. Now it gives you some options here that you can set. Um, you're kind of limited with these options though, so if you want to set a different font color, then I'll show you how to do that really quick. What you'll do is highlight over it and start by just setting one of these font colors. Now, if you go to the HTML, you're going to see it's going to say color right here, and it's going to be in the RGB format. So you're going to want to change that so it's not in the RGB format anymore. So the best way to do that would be to go to your uh, layout settings. So we'll go to the funnel layout settings here. And again, you can use this color selector, or you can get a color from an image. So if I wanted to get a color from an image, I would just click this link. Make sure you wait until this page fully loads and then upload a file that you want to match the color from. 
So I would go to the image I want to match and I just upload that image and then I can scroll over it and you'll see here that it's got the color and I can just use this color. Now I want to uh, copy everything right here in this color code and then what I'm going to do is go back into my page editor and I'm going to replace this where it says the RGB with the number. So now if I zoom this, let me just take this to another line so you can see it better. So it's going to be just like I've got here. It's got the color and then the colon and then number, then the color number and then the semicolon. Just like it looks there. So if you wanted to instead use a color from this color selector, you just choose any color you want. Control C to copy that color. And then we would go back here into the page editor. And right there, you would just paste that color number there. So it should always start with this number and then have the number of your color. So now if we save that, you'll see that we've got this red color that I set. So that's how to set your fonts.